What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jake from Warcry Games and today we're going to continue the Let's Play series with Donkey Kong Country on the Super Nintendo. And uh, hopefully I don't have any issues with, uh, you know, it, you know, issues with my original Super Nintendo that I had before. Um, I just tried a quick little bit of it just to see if it's up and running and working and yeah, we're, we're good so far. But yeah, um, for this, Normally, I boot up just a random save file, I dive in, and we keep playing. I checked all three of the ones that I have on here, the 32%, uh, 18%, and 26%, and they're all actually, uh, as you can see on the left hand side, two player games. So instead of just swapping the uh, uh, controller port in and out, and you know, because these were multiplayer titles, I'm gonna erase the second one, the one that's like lowest percentage, and just start over. Um, yeah, usually, uh, yeah, you can do one player, two player contest, two player team. Uh, usually, if a friend comes over, uh, I'll boot up this game with them. We'll play through the first little bit of it, and then say another friend comes over, I'll erase an old save. We'll jump into that one with a new, new fresh save. It happened enough times where all my original games are gone, so we're just gonna we're just gonna start fresh, start new. Um, but yeah, this is again one of the first couple of games that I ever played. Uh, Super Nintendo is kind of where it was, where I was at when I was growing up. But yeah, so we're gonna jump into the first level, Jungle Hijinks. Um, let's see. And back then, the stories for these games they were in like the instruction manual. And oh, I tried to say this on my Super Nintendo, uh, I'm sorry, my Super Mario World video, but if you got stuck in an area, you could look in the instruction manual, it would give you a contact number to Nintendo, it had some type of customer care line that would help you get over some obstacle you're having. If you have some issue, I don't know, platforming in a certain area and you couldn't figure out where to go next, or there was a puzzle that stumped you, um, this was before like internet was as widespread as it is now where there's walkthroughs for everything so you just called this number and uh, someone from Nintendo would give you a uh, quick walkthrough like hey try doing this um, but yeah and again in the manuals it gave you the story like here obviously Donkey Kong walks in there his banana horde's gone you have to figure out where it went and you know ultimately it's King K rule as the uh, antagonist and uh, Donkey and Diddy Kong are both the uh, protagonists in this game. This is a nice little uh, home, uh, for, you know, like home for the monkeys here. Got a, uh, we call a window out there to sailboats. Looks like Candy Kong's on the right hand side. He's got some of his bananas left. Uh, when you beat the game, this is where all the enemies will just kind of filter on the screen left or right, give you a quick characteristic of what they are, show you their animation. Um, yeah, but that, that's endgame. Let's just jump in, let's just start playing. So, welcome to Diddy Kong. I think you can swap between the two with select, is it? Yeah, select, does it? Yeah, I noticed the button presses were way worse in my last video for Super Mario World. So now I'm going to keep the controller actually below screen. And I'm using one of my like original controllers that I had from way back when. Um, some of them are just, just didn't age that well. Some are, that, some are a little bit bad. So I did buy some new ones. But then it gives you like a fresh feel. They're not worn in. So they, they just don't uh, uh, respond as well, in my opinion. So DK's got to take these guys out. There's so many hidden secrets in this game. Uh, you know, little areas you have to go to. These barrels will open up various things. Um, we'll try to find it here. Let's see, a little bit further up. Right there? Yeah. Many that are just like that. You can charge, can you? No, I think in Donkey Kong Country 2 he can charge, but not in 1, if I remember correctly. What's strange, and I don't know if this is anything to do with the settings that I may have changed since my last video, or just the controller, but I feel no input lag going from left to right. Alright, let's continue. Jungle Hijinx is done. 
Ropey Rampage. I think this one's at night and you just swing from ropes. Yeah, thunderstorming. For a Super Nintendo game, I mean, these animations are really, really, really good. Like, uh, Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong, and the enemies, they're all, uh, like, 3D animated in a 2D world, as you can kind of see, just their sprites are, um, well above the time for, uh, back in these days. I remember, like, 1992, 1993, I'd have to check, but it's definitely older. Completely missed that one. Let's try that one again. Ooh, what's that? Hmm. Got DK again. Yeah, the more of those you get, once you get three, you go into this uh, bonus world or the secret world, and basically it allows you to get like a lot of uh, lives to level up and stuff. Oh, I missed the K. Man, my mind is telling me there's a secret area here. Yeah! See, it's the worst when your mind is telling you it, but you remembered it incorrectly. Oh, okay. Or you just kind of ruined the secret area. But, <laughs> yeah, that's the worst. You go down and feel like, yeah, this is a secret area, and then you just die. You just fall off a cliff. <laughs> oh, dang. Off to practice with the jump. I feel like it didn't register, but it was probably just me. There's the K. So something I just realized with this card that I got, this capture card for like retro consoles, I prefer Diddy Kong, I'm gonna go with you. Oh, we're gonna go to this uh, secret world, but before I jump into that, um, the capture card actually lets me stream out to like say Twitch platforms or YouTube TV, I'm sorry, YouTube uh, like live streaming, so I can actually play this live. Um, I'm in Japan, I'm overseas, so I'm at least 12 to 15 plus hours away from a lot of the stateside places so streaming is a little bit weird I'd have to do it like at a really good time like right now it's 11 in the morning my time which means it's probably something like I don't know 9 p.m. or something like that at night back in like Denver area maybe 10 at night in the in a Mississippi um, like central time all right, let's jump in here. Actually, I don't want to go too far. I need to jump a little bit higher. I need to get back to one of the higher platforms. So the way this map works. Oh, come on. Oh, it's it's like it's got a barrier up there or something. No, I'm not going to make it. Um, all of these levels this entire map area has a if you go past that wall it'll be like a giant golden statue of the animal that you're currently playing and if you hit it it multiplies your uh however many bananas however many whatever it was that you collected by uh, i think two i think a, a factor of two so if you had 400 that gives you four lives but then you hit that statue if you were able to find it it's kind of hidden in each little bonus room um it would turn to eight lives. Um. Dang, okay. Woo. Yeah, that was luck. That was not skill. <laughs>
Yeah, some of the most difficult levels in uh, this game, I think most people would agree. There's two. Um, there's a minecart level that's notorious in like the second world, and then I don't remember what world it is, the snowy capped one where it's kind of like this, where the rain animation is, but it's snow. And depending on where, you know, like how far into the level you are, if I remember correctly, is the intensity of the snow coming in, it's really hard to see. And you're in spinning, rotating barrels, and you have to time it just perfectly to go to the next barrel. And that is frustrating. Man, that's just so beautiful. We're going from like the stormy, stormy uh, season right into this like lit up daytime thing. Oh, I ain't gonna let you kill me now, buddy. I forgot to get the K, so we didn't spell out Kong. Yeah, if you guys haven't yet, if you have a Nintendo Switch, go do yourself a favor and pick up Tropical Freeze. It's it's fantastic. It's a phenomenal game. Um, it's still part of the uh, Donkey Kong Country series, the timeline. Uh, there's what Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3 on the Super Nintendo. There was a Wii version for Donkey Kong Country Returns and then Tropical Freeze that was on the Wii U and then ported over to the Nintendo Switch. Um, fantastic game, one of the best platformers out there in my opinion. It's got a really good balance of challenge, uh, you know, like skill-based platforming and just fun. Uh, a lot of throwbacks to games like this, you'll see a lot of stuff in there. Let's visit Cranky Kong. He gives you little advice on uh, secrets. The water levels in this game, just beautiful. The ambience, like the, the music, like the background music as it's playing, it's just, it's a really, really uh, beautiful level. And with Tropical Freeze, they have something that I've not seen before. Um, I'm not sure if it was Donkey Kong Country Returns. It might have been, but shadow levels. Like, you see Donkey Kong there. He's got a red tie on. Uh, that'll be the only thing you can really see besides, like, a silhouette, like an outline of Donkey Kong himself. And the entire level is extremely dark. Uh, bananas will light up. Coins will light up. Stuff like that. <clears throat> but um, it's just a really, really cool artistic choice for, uh, you know, this style of video game. So you, man. There's a secret to the right there. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, dang. I used to play this game so much. I don't have like the entire game memorized. It's not like as well done as, uh, I don't have it as well memorized as I do like say Super Mario World, but pretty close. <laughs> I know where a lot of the little secrets are. I know, you know, uh, good things to look for, um, kind of what to expect moving forward. This is on guard. Kong there. Right, first water world. And again, like even though they're beautiful, music is great, it's kind of cool. It's a little bit strange that the monkeys don't ever drown as they're swimming underwater for like 10 minutes, but um, they're very challenging. It's kind of hard to stay afloat. It's hard because when you jump up, you, f you float up that amount every single time you click the what, B button. Yeah. So you have to kind of you know, time it pretty well just to avoid the fish, shark, other animals, the clams that are in this level. Yeah, I'm hoping the clicks aren't as bad on my uh, remote control. I don't want it to like overtake the audio quality of the game or, uh, you know, hearing me. There should be a secret down here. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, not too far. On guard? Yeah. And he's cool because he can take down uh, all the fish. <laughs> Can't hurt octopus, but he can kill a shark. And go this way. This is a fun title to play through, you know. If you've not already played it, like, uh, and, and you're a fan of these old two, uh, what do you call it? Not really. Yes, yeah, pretty much side scrolling platformers. The only difference is some of the levels are not really side scrolling, but, you know, you, you get it. Um, this is one of the best. This is one of the best on the Super Nintendo. something over here okay that's two Now we get to meet Funky Kong. Uh, once you clear the level, uh, you know, up to the top right, you can see that giant banana horde. Uh, that's the boss. Uh, once you clear it, you come back to Funky Kong and he flies you to the next little area. Um, he makes a return in Tropical Freeze as well. He's kind of like the easy mode. Um, it's harder for him to die. He can kind of stay floating for a long time. He uh, can jump on spikes and stuff. It's, it's just easy mode for it, but... That game can be difficult, so, you know, it's kind of advised for, like, younger individuals or people who can't just platform really, really well, because, yeah, it, it, it can be challenging. So now I can't move anywhere, so there's no point in jumping. Oh, that wasn't the intent. Can I restart? Yeah. Let's go continue on. I believe there's one more level before the boss, and you get to meet Candy Kong, who uh, saves the game for you. Some of these old school practices, I'm kind of uh, kind of glad that they're gone. Um, oh, I'm trying to think. It's like game saves I don't remember if it was limitation of the hardware at the time the fact that there's no like external pack to save but uh, you can only save at certain areas like Candy Kong over there on the right hand side well if you didn't save your game and you know you lost all your lives like at this point you start back over that's still a step up from like the NES which you know like I don't even remember I only have a couple games for the NES but you you die you lose your lives you're starting all over anyways. There's not really many save points, if any, that I can remember. Um, but yeah, yeah, at least now it's like every time you clear a level, it saves. Once you get to a certain part in the level, the game saves. So you really don't have to worry about uh, jumping in and jumping out. Uh, let's see, which one is this? Something up here? <clears throat> this gets you through like half the level. <laughs> It's a secret here or on the other side. Might be the other side. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so this, little secret for you guys. Um, if you choose any one of these three barrels, you're only going to be able to get one. Uh, I'm sorry, like if I shoot myself, say on the left hand side, by the time I come back down, the barrel's going to be, I'm going to miss it because you can't control like where you're going to come down to land. But if you go just off center to the right of the middle banana like this, I don't know if I got it. 
yeah, you have to go a little bit more, just barely off center to the right. You can usually get two. You can get like whatever's in the middle and then another one. I think there was another secret there too. I had to miss that last barrel if I remember correctly. Kong again. I don't know I keep making references to Tropical Freeze but um, it, if you find all the Kong level, <clears throat> if I remember correctly, every level has K-O-N-G, just the Kong uh, little placards that you pick up. If you find all of them in every level in this world, like this would have been the final level for it, then it opens up a secret bonus world. Uh, sorry, bonus level within the same world. It's extremely challenging. It's a very hard level, um, but they're fun. <clears throat> all right, so we're gonna save and then go up to the first boss. Candy Kong, this is my save point. So see, it doesn't take very long to get far in this game. I think you can completely beat it in, I would say, maybe less than three hours. Like, it doesn't take that long. This is Gnarly, or I don't remember the guy's name. I have to check the uh, level again. Winky's walkway. He's my least favorite animal, you know, for the record. I do not like the frog. He controls very weird. I end up falling off platforms way more often when I control him. Um, I'll use him for whatever little gimmick that you need in the level. This is Winky. Or that. So that would have been the gimmick, is to get the O there. You don't really need him for most of the level. Actually, you don't need them all on the level, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure the minecart level comes up next. Oh, dang. Oh, here we go. So, something's up here. major goal is to get towards the end for the multiplier. I'll at least show you guys what it looks like. Um, yeah, the, you want to collect as many as you can, something like this. At least now I can try to get like four lives. There it is. Times two, yeah. Now I'll go try to get a little bit more. You can't see it. My face is covering it up over there, but it just shows how many lives you have. But we don't need it. We're good. go the infamous minecart level maybe I spoke too soon with those lives 
and I know I talked about it in some of the other games I played, Banjo-Kazooie, Super Mario World. If you haven't already seen those videos, uh, go check them out after this. But this game likes to tempt you, and Rare does it a lot. You know, the, the uh, developer for a lot of these games, they'll put that banana like that, you know, like, do you really want to risk it? Yeah, you can get it. Oh, dang, forgot I missed the jump. But yeah, you can get those bananas, and you can, like, prove your skill. You can test it, but there's a greater chance you're not going to make it. <laughs> I think a lot of people's favorite game in this series, the Donkey Kong Country, is actually two. Um, it introduces Dixie Kong, so you have this, like, flying, floating character. Um, you can uh, overcome some obstacles pretty easily. Okay, halfway point, good. Um, but, oh yeah, 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 and at the end of every level, they pull out this little guitar and do a solo. <sighs> that sucks. I'm better than that. Let's try that again. Um, the enemy designs are cool. I love the pirate theme. I love how you're working your way up the, uh, um, I don't remember if it's like a, it's not really a mountain. This is a mountain in Donkey Kong 1. Dang, my jumping's bad. I gotta time that better. But, uh, it, it's something to do with like a ship, if I, if I can recall correctly. And the levels are just really, really, really good. There's one frustrating one, which I'm sure if anybody's played that here and you know, it's the parrot level. Uh, actually, it's not just a parrot either, I think. It's a... Dang it. I, I think you play as all the animals, like you actually play as them. And uh, yeah, it's super difficult, super challenging. Whoo! Jump. Jump, jump. I know at the very end of this level. Oh, damn, oh no! Oh, my jumping's pretty bad. Uh, at the very end of the level, there's this cheap uh, guy. He, he uh, right as you think you're about to make it, at the very end, he jumps at you. Like you have to jump in a uh, kind of like it is here, like last second effort. Oh, we got this. We got this. Be a little bit more comfortable if I had Donkey Kong right now, though. It's always nice to have that little buffer. <laughs> like that. <laughs> and a lot of it does come down, you know, for like, like a lot of these titles to repetition. You play the map long enough, repetitively enough, um, you know where the guy's about to come at, you know where the minecarts are that you have to avoid, and it just becomes easy. That's, that's kind of like the style of these games. Donkey Kong 3, other people didn't like it, but I actually really, really did. Uh, most people didn't like it because it introduced a, was that Kitty Kong, I believe? It's like a little baby. And uh, um, the protagonist, your main ones, like Donkey Kong and Kitty, or Donkey Kong and, um, was it Diddy Kong? It was Diddy Kong. I think they get captured, and you have to go save them as Dixie Kong. And, uh, is it Dixie or am I getting that wrong? Am I thinking Trixie? I think it's Dixie. Dixie Kong and Kitty Kong. Um, they just don't like the baby. They just don't like, uh, uh, Baby Kong. But it's good. It's a, it's a good game. Oh, man. In my head, that was right. That was the right time to jump. It made no sense, though. <laughs> You can kind of see why most people remember this level. It's kind of challenging. It really, compared to most of the levels in this game, it does require pretty much precise platforming. Not like to the pixel, but pretty close on some of them. Oh, 
voice is hard too. Here, I think. Yeah, it's that guy at the very end. Oh man, so frustrating if you finally get everything down and you're down to just like one of your Kongs and then he comes right before you get to the finish line and smacks you. <laughs> but yeah, that's the way it is with this game. Yeah, tell me what you guys think of the music as well. I don't know how well you can hear it, but uh, just how it's playing in the background. Let me turn it up real quick. Yeah? Yeah, just uh, write it down in the comments below uh, what you guys think. Um, the whole game, just it's beautiful. It's great. Almost ran into the stinger. I do need this, I think. Halfway points. Uh, yeah, there's a... Oh, dang. I think there's Winky, if I use this thing correctly. The frog guy. But I'm going to straight up skip him because I do not like him in this level. Again, like, you do need precise platforming in some of these levels, and he just, in my opinion, screws it up. It's awkward to play with him. All the other characters I'm fine with, just not, not Winky. Oh, I didn't even see him. Oh well. At least we got the halfway mark. Oh, actually, I do want to come up there. Do I have to have the... Maybe not. I know DK's up there somewhere. Woo! I gotta try not to go too fast. Because that'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got this. Let's continue. That was bad. Whew. I think this is the last little challenge to overcome. We'll do the stop and go, we'll save, and then we'll call it. If I remember correctly, yeah, I think this level, if you go behind you, is this the one? It teleports you towards like the end of the map or like midway through the map or something. Yeah, the goal here is to always hit those barrels, you know. It stops these guys from running like crazy. Yeah, look at that. I didn't know that probably the first couple times I played this game. I don't remember when I learned that, but uh, yeah, it's <laughs> you just turn around and go and you're at the end of the level. Otherwise, you play through and it, it takes a lot longer. 
Um, let's see, save. We're at seventeen percent. Yeah, I think we'll call it, guys. But um, yeah, tell me what you guys think. If you liked it, you know, comment down below. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. Uh, hit the like button if you're new here. Subscribe. Um, for next titles we're gonna play. Honestly, like my philosophy with this, my uh, idea really it's just whatever I'm feeling at the moment so I'll just kind of do a quick scan of my game library I'll look at my consoles if I'm in the mood for a certain type of game like platforming first-person shooter you know uh, RPG whatever it is that I'm in the mood for I'll just kind of boot up but I mean I'm always open to recommendations uh, like Banjo Kazooie that did come from uh, uh, two subscribers uh, Becca and Aubrey um, you guys are more than welcome to make recommendations and I'll, I'll do my best to either have the same game, boot it up, or you know, match something that's pretty similar. Um, I do want to start getting my Nintendo Switch out. I can even show you, say, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. That'd be a good follow-up to this episode, just to show you how times have changed um, in the past 25 years or so, you know? But yeah, hope you guys liked it. Thanks for stopping by.